Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me today. Today I thought for Make It Monday, I haven't made this project, for Make It Monday I was prepping and my scheduling has gone completely out of the window and um, I work a very busy day job and trying to get a Make It Monday where I could film it and then voice over it isn't working for me. So I'm going to change it up and I'm going to start making things live um, without... I've got a little bit of a plan, but nothing major. Um, but I thought I would use the Swirly Bird stamp set for you today. Um, I love this. I really, really love this. This kind of appeals to my artistic nature, I suppose. But I, one of the things that I've... There's loads of things you can do with this stamp set. There's kites, there's sailboats, there's the cute little bird. Um, but I see roses in these swirls here at the bottom. I don't know if anybody else sees roses or if it's just me. And I've got to admit this might not work. Um, but I see roses and there's also a coordinating die set that goes with this. Um, they do come bundled together in the catalogue um, and I'll link the um, that to you in the down bar below. So I have already done a bit of die cutting. I've die cut a load of the little leaves from the die set. Um, and this that I just think is so fabulous and I'm gonna hack it to pieces in a moment I've got myself out a piece of shimmery white cardstock and a piece of uh, pear pizzazz so the pear pizzazz is going to be my card base um, and it's I've got I, I haven't cut this one today this was just in my um, my kind of paper storage I store all my full sheets and my scraps together um, and I quite often have kind of half a card um, or a, a, an unfolded card base in my card scraps um, and I've, I've stopped using tenfold cards quite so much because it doesn't photograph very well in my photograph my photo my, oh, put my teeth back in my photography setup um, but I'm, I'm gonna mix it up for you today so there's my kind of basic card um, I'm gonna put my card base off to one side I've got like I said I've got swirly bird um, stamp set I've also got a bit of gorgeous grunge out and the tin of cards stamp set which I absolutely love and I'm really pleased it's carried over because I really love the um, the font and these sentiments and it was my friend's birthday this week and I'm filming this today on Saturday and I have to admit I didn't know it was her birthday and I feel really guilty because I obviously haven't checked my Facebook um, this week at all because um, I've been so crazily busy at work it's been mental um, so Facebook popped up this morning and went it's your friend's birthday and I went oh sugar so I'm hoping that she's not watching this video and that this will be a surprise when it turns up on her doorstep later in the week when I remember to post it um, and I'm hoping that she doesn't mind that it's a bit late because I didn't realise at all. Um, but a, a late birthday card is better than no birthday card at all, isn't it? So I have just inked up this swirl in Sweet Sugar Plum. And I'm going to spritz it. And I don't know if this is going to work at all. Um, but I really love that kind of watery... You know what I'm like with watercolour. I can watercolour all day long. I absolutely love it. So... It's got a bit watery. I'll leave it to sit a little minute um, and just just get that ink and that water do its job. I Like I said, I've die cut this piece. This video's all over the place, isn't it? And I'm just going to, because it, it does fit over um, our rose, but not, but I've got all this swirly stuff in the middle, so I'm going to get rid of some of the swirly stuff in the middle. Um, just very carefully snipping bits away. Oh, where am I going to snip? Where am I going to snip? Choices. Decisions. Decisions. I'll snip there. And there. All the way along there. Like so. Okay, so you can see where I've cut that piece out. My camera is playing silly buggers today, so I'm just, I'm really sorry if you've missed any of the steps of this. But I've taken that 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 die cut, and I oh, and they're jumping about all over, and I've snipped the middle out of it, and it fits nicely just over my newly created rose. I've got my it probably needs a wash this microfiber cloth, um, but I'm just going to dab away the excess water on my slightly watery rose 
um, and I'm going to pop that over the top there like that which I think is rather pretty I don't know about you I think that's rather pretty um, and I've got before I stick anything down at all I'm going to do a bit of um, a bit of create a bit of splatter with my gorgeous grunge and I've got um, what have I got smoky slate um, just for a bit of added interest like that it's still damp this cardstock you'll see that it's a little bit warped I'm okay with that I don't mind that quite so much um, and I'm going to stamp some leaves as well as adding some with my die cuts so. see does it look more like a rose now it's got some leaves on it <laughs> except I said at the beginning of this video I, did, I have planned it a little bit this this um card but not I've not done I've not done heaps of planning for it. So attaching delicate die cuts is a bit of a skill and I have a couple of top tips um, and things that I use regularly and this is one that I have just discovered <laughs> and I know it's been around for ages. This is our silicon um mat um, it's right at the back of the catalogue um, it'll be linked to in my blog post, I promise. And it obviously things don't stick to silicon, do they? Um, and I would get in a right mess before because I would always do. I would lay my um, my die cut onto my grid paper and and stick Tombow all over it, and then I'd end up with glue everywhere. And this solves my problem. I don't know if everybody else is as messy as me. <laughs> it's just me that makes an absolute colossal mess everywhere. Um, but my this silicon mat is has been my absolute saviour, um, and for all I still get, I still get gluey fingers when I'm using um, Tombow because I would inevitably put my finger in it. Um, it. I don't get as messy as I did, so I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow just on the back of that die cut, and very carefully pick it up with a non gluey bit, hopefully. And oh, my phone's going off. Just put that there. Okay, so that is now stuck, and I'm going to add um, a couple more of my leaves. Oh, that's probably a bit too much, Tombo. Oh. Um. And I'm just adding them in the same place that I put the um, stamped ones. Like that. I think that will do. And I'm just thinking I might actually add another die cut. So, so in our in my pack of dies. There's three kind of swirls. Oh. Well, this one's got the tape all over it. <laughs> I love the fact that Stampin' Up! have changed the tape that they use, but um, it's <laughs> it's less sticky um, and it's fatter, so it's easier to get off. Um, but it now comes off the backing. I'm just thinking I might put that, that little swirl in the middle of there. I'm going to grab out a piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock, I think, and I cut that. Okay, so I've looked through my box of scraps and I haven't got any rich Razzleberry, rich Razzleberry cards that left. So I've got an, um, gone for Sweet Sugar Plum instead. And I'm going to use Tombow um, again to adhere that. I do like using Tombow for die cuts because um, it gives you that bit of wiggle room um, and you're not left with kind of bits of tape and things sticking out of the side. We used to do some fabulous stuff for die cuts and they discontinued it. They discontinued it and then gave us loads of um, 
really delicate die cuts. And I'm like, oh, so annoyed. I do still have it in my my stash of stuff, but I don't like using it um, on video because obviously you can't buy it anymore, um, which is very disappointing. So there's that. And then I've got my happy birthday sentiment and some rich razzleberry ink. I'm going to pop that down there. And that's going to fit on there just like that. I'm going to wait for that to dry before I stick it down. Uh, but that is my Make It Monday. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, all the links to all the products that I've used um, are available on my blog. And the link there, that is in the down bar below too. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again on Friday for a fancy fold. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.